Hi, my name is Sabrina. My name is Veronica. And I'm Ethan. And we're doing uh, our presentation on Church Study by Larry Bell. So Larry Bell was born in 1939 in Chicago, Illinois, but he spent most of his childhood growing up in Southern California. Um, he now lives and works in New Mexico and still maintains a small studio in Southern California. He studied at the Choinard Institute, which is now a part of the Cal Arts program, and he is a contemporary artist in the, uh, and sculptor that focuses in minimal and geometric abstraction. He is best known for illusionistic art and his large sculptures. And he has received grants from the National Endowment for the Arts and the Guggenheim Foundation. Um, Bell was a recipient of the 1990 New Mexico Governor's Award for Excellence in the Arts as well. Um, so here's the artwork we're talking about, and the materials used were aluminum and silicon monoxide on paper that was then mounted on canvas and then power coated in a metal frame with optimum, which sounds kind of complicated, but basically what that means is Bell layered metal on top of the canvas and then changed the shapes using a blade to cut out and then layer the metal. And the goal of this artwork was to play with light, shadow, and color, so there's a lot of intricacy. And he said that he wanted to demonstrate the relationship between the art object and its environment through the sculptural and reflective properties of his work because it was based on a, like, it took a lot of inspiration from the 1960s where that was a popular time for artists to use, like, a lot of stimulation for the eye to kind of, like, capture the viewer. So if you look at the piece, it makes it unique and fun to kind of, like, see yourself in it and notice the reflection um, coming back at you. And it's kind of like an experiment in itself and to make a considerable effort to discern and so to become conscious of the process of seeing was like his goal and yeah. So within this artwork, uh, two main physics co concepts stand out, reflection and refraction. So what is reflection? When thinking about light, reflection is when a surface returns the light being reflected upon it to a certain direction. In particular, there are two types of reflection, specular reflection and diffuse reflection. Specular reflection occurs on a flat surface and the light reflects similar to like that on a mirror, whereas diffuse reflection occurs on an uneven surface and the reflection it produces is much less predictable. And what is refraction? Light travels through various materials. Refraction occurs when light shifts from one material to another and, it shifts, and the light ray it produces moves from its initial angle of incidence. So this art, as Ethan explained, contains both refraction and reflection. Parts of the piece are more reflective than others, and this, the reflective parts act almost as a mirror that almost insert the viewer into the artwork. Yeah, so here's a diagram of an example of reflection, just kind of simplified. So basically, this is the light source, and it's reflected off of the mirror back onto like, the viewer's eye, so you can see exactly how the light is reflected. And Bell is often associated with Light and Space, which is a group of mostly West Coast artists whose work is primarily concerned with perceptual experience stemming from the viewer's interaction with their work. So that kind of was the inspiration for reflecting the viewer in his artwork. Other parts of the piece use refra refraction to demonstrate color in the art. You can see those here where the colors create a different, a rainbow-like effect on the piece. Yeah, so basically light is the medium, and here's another diagram of refraction where basically the light is reflected, but also some of it is absorbed into the different substance to create those colors that we see in the center of the piece. Um, yeah. So refracted light creates an array of colors in the piece, which almost remind us of what an oil spill looks like, which we have here. <laughs> 